their France managers have been forced to flee the company's headquarters after being attacked by obeying mob workers that tore their clothes off. Hundreds of angry staff stormed the Air France building at the Charles D. All International Airport in Roissy, near Paris, after the company announced plans to cut 2,900 jobs on Monday. Docked senior executives, Xavier Berzetta, Vice President for Human Resources, and Pierre Plazani, Deputy of Air France Long Haul Flights, both had their shirts ripped off their backs. They were evacuated through the crowds. Shortly before the attack, Mr. Berzetta and Air France Chief Executive Frederic Gagey had outlined drastic cost-cutting plan which would see 2,900 jobs cut by 2017. The cuts include 1,700 ground staff, 900 Aben crew and 300 pilots, as part of efforts to lower costs. Two union sources said that Air France also confirmed in the meeting that it plans to shed 14 aircraft from its long-haul fleet reducing the business by 10%, and that it wants to cancel its order Boeing 787 Dreamliner aircraft. This outraged staff were already at longer leads with the company, and hundreds stormed the building, interrupting the meeting. Air France KLM is seeking to co-op with growing competition. It has been at loggerheads with its main pilots, Union the SNPL over its plans. Europe's big three flag carriers which also include British Airways owner IAG and Germany's Lufthansa, have been squeezed between low-cost competition inside Europe and fast-expanding long-haul airlines in the Gulf, as well as Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines is set to become the largest carrier on routes and from Europe by the end of this year. The head of British Airways, aircraft financiers gathered in Prague were told on Monday. Dubai's Emirates would be in third place.